In this video, I'm going to be talking about the 2024 CISSP exam changes. I'm Andrew Ramdial. I'm one of the instructors here for the CISSP at the Technical Institute of America, where we do a lot of live training, have an e-learning course that comes with it, and a whole bunch of practice questions. Join us if you want to pass your exam. Let's get started. So I've been teaching CISSP since about 2006, 2005, and every three to four years, there's always a new CISSP exam. Now, I want you guys to point out, I, I want you guys to know something, that this exam changes starts on April 15th, forgot to say this, April 15th, 2024. So if you're taking your exam before that, it's probably not going to probably not gonna affect you. But if you're taking it after this, obviously, this will affect you. So like I said, every three to four years, you get a new CISSP. So there was one in 2018 that came out, there was one in 2021, and now here we go with 2024. Seems like they're good on this three-year cycle. Now, from my experience of teaching this, anytime they change the exam, you're not going to get a drastic change. You're not going to remove like 50% of the content and add more stuff in. In fact, in my experience, they just kept adding in and they don't really remove much. So, well, sometimes they remove a little bit, but not much. All right, I just thought of something. So what happens is if you're studying right now for your CISSP and you plan to take it after April 15th, Keep studying because whatever you study is more than likely going to be on the exam. Now, that's with the topics. I'm telling you guys, I've gone through the entire topic list and I'll show you guys what they are. There are links in the description below to see that. I'm telling you guys, I've gone through them and I've compared them to the actual old topics that we have right now, the current exam objectives, and it's not really much. It's really nothing much that we're not going to be teaching or nothing too complex. There is a big change, though, in the way the exam is laid out, and that I want to talk about. And something interesting that the ISC Square has on their website, that if you study their official study guide, you're probably not going to pass or not likely to pass. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Let's take a look at a couple of things. So first off the bat, if you're studying for your exam, you should not already know that we have eight domains. Those eight domains will stay the same. It's just that percentages will change very slightly in them. Let's go and see where is my desktop. So let's go to the desktop. So here I am at my desktop and uh, I got a couple of things here. So we got the CISSP exam refresh and I want you guys to see the previous domains versus the new domain. Let's make this a little bit bigger. You notice that security and risk management gets a 1%. So this goes to 16%. Asset security stays the same. Security architect engineering stays the same. Network communication stays the same. IAM stays the same. Security assessment and testing stays the same. Your problem, where does this change? Security operations stays the same. And software development actually goes down a point. So if you're looking at these new exam weigh-in, you're probably saying, hey, there's really no change there. And you're really right. I mean, what happens is security and risk management gains a point versus uh, application security loses a percentage point. So you're probably going to get, now if you're going by the way the exam is going to be laid out, you're probably going to get about two additional questions uh, on security and risk management and two less questions on on uh, security ap uh, application security. So that's really what that is. It's not much of a big change in terms of What's going to be in the domains? The domain topics also remains pretty much the same. What they did change, though, is the layouts, the format of the exam. And that I, that, that I want to show you. So a couple of things. You, here I have the, this was effective May 1st, 2021. By the way, links, everything in the description. This is the CISP certification exam summary. This is the current exam that came out in 2021. And this exam, if you notice, is a four hour test. It is a computer adaptive test, which means you're gonna, depending on how you're answering those questions, you're gonna get more or less questions. At a minimum, you're gonna get 125 up to 175 questions. You gotta score 70% to pass. You're gonna have multiple choice. And this thing called advanced innovative items. No one really knows what that is, by the way. It's just, the questions are really worded, really weird. Again, watch my video on the hard CISP to see that. So. In the current exam, as I make this video, it's a four hour, 125 to 175 question exam. On the new exam, on this exam refresh, this will change. 
So if you're going to be taking this test afterwards, you are going to get the time limit will be a maximum of three hours. So now you can have a three hour exam and you will see a minimum of 100 and a maximum 150. So they're reducing 25 questions off the exam and they're make they're making it one hour less. Now, for those of us that are CISSP historians, is that how you pronounce that word? For those of us that been teaching this a long time, have been been in this industry for quite a while. This was this was it before, like in the when we used when the CAT exams first came out, it used to be uh, 100 to 150, and then they changed it to 125 to 175. So it's actually like going back. It's actually like going back to the way it was. Uh, so that's something to know. So that's the biggest change is that if you're taking this exam after April 15th, on April 15th and, and more, you are going to get a three hour, 100 to 150 question exam. Now, I want to talk about this because I was reading this page and something interesting came up. And uh, first of all, when you're studying for this exam, if you don't want to join me in the live class because I'm too expensive or something, uh, if you want to join my live class, absolutely great. But if you don't and you want to do some self-studying, you the book I recommend, and I think the book everyone recommends, is The Official Study Guide by Mike Chappell. Great author. Love the guy. I don't know the guy, but he is an amazing author. Love, love his materials. ISC Square has an interesting saying on their website. I mean, considering that The Official Study Guide, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this guy here. This book. It's the number one best-selling book on Amazon. For the CISSP, written by author Mike Chappell and the rest of these folks here. Uh, it is the most famous CISSP study guide. I like the book. I think it's great. Nothing wrong with the book. If you're if you're doing self-studying, this is the book I recommend for all students to self-study. So, and I, you know, I want to point out that this is the official study guide. All right, this is the CISSP. This is this notice it has branded ISE Square on it. Now, I want to show you guys something that I found very really interesting and what prompted me to make this video. Listen to this. Look at this question. If I've been studying for the CISSP exam material, let me make this bigger. The exam material that focuses on domains, will I be sufficiently prepared to take the new exam without additional study materials? Without additional study. ISC square exams are, I can't pronounce this word, experiment, no, experiential. Just say it's based on experience and include experience-based questions that cannot be learned by studying alone. All right, so that cannot be learned by studying alone. So are they saying that if you study their own study guide, you're going to fail? Is that what they're saying? Notice this cannot be learned by studying alone. And the answer is they're absolutely right. Uh, if you're new to this game of CISSP, I've always said this. You hear me say this in the previous video, or if you're, if you're one of my students, I've told you this repeatedly. You cannot pass the CISSP exam with just knowing what's in any book, whether it's the Mike Chapel book, Sean Harris has a great study, one of the best ones out there also. It doesn't matter what study guide you're using. It doesn't matter whether you're just Wikipedia everything or chat GPT it or whatever you're doing, you cannot pass the CISSP exam with just knowing the material. You have to know how to think. You have to know the CISSP mindset. That's why you notice they tell you it's really based, I'm not gonna pronounce this word again, it's really based on experience, right? It's experience-based question. It's not just knowledge based question. And this is the first time I've really read anything on their website that actually says this, that it's based on, it's more based on experience. But here's the interesting part. It's not based on your experience. In fact, the more, this is going to sound crazy. I'm telling you guys, you're going to hate me for this. Don't thumbs down the video. By the way, if you're finding value in this, give the video a like. Um, it's not based on your experience. It's based on the uh, what the experience ISC Square wants you to have and the what they consider the best practices of security. So if you don't have that right, quote unquote, CISSP mindset, the ISC Square mindset, your chance of passing is very low. In fact, I've had students that have came to me that have self-studied for months on end 
knows the book inside out and they fail the test miserably. Then they come to me and I start teaching them and then I come to realize why they fail the test. They just don't have the right mindset. They keep, th they keep thinking incorrectly in order to pass. So you got to have the right mindset. Now I do review a lot of the mindset in this, the previous video I did with the 50 hard questions. If you really want to learn it, watch that. If you really want to learn a lot more with the mindset, take my live class. Me or any of the instructors here will teach that to you for you to pass your exam. And with that, I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. If you're taking this exam, just to do a quick recap, if you're taking this exam uh, after April 15, 2024, okay, it's going to be a, sh the test will be shorter. It will be, instead of four hours, it'll be three hours. You're going to have 100 to 150 questions versus right now, 125 to 175. But again, they take one hour off your exam. It's still a computer adaptive test. Uh, and all, and it's still a test based on experience. All right. It's still a test that you have to know the knowledge going in. That's what comes in the book. And you have to have the right mindset to pass the exam. Guys, if you guys found value in this video, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.